Hi, Dave here. Wanted to do a brief overview of our Protect the Turf functionality. Let's go through a little bit of how the setup and the settings work inside the application uh, so you can see how we get Protect the Turf to work. When you first start onboarding to the system, we pull the map from the satellite imagery and we put it into the system. From there, what we do is we overlay in our office as you get assigned a customer success rep, they will take care of uh, the initial um, geofencing. I'll go here and go ahead and show the hole boundaries. Uh, you'll see those lines come up, hole numbers. We lay out the golf course as such, greens, tees, and then of course, cart path area only. Uh, so these are areas, tees, greens, fairways, that are either on or off, um, and other areas that are either on or off that the carts should not go into and is, are designated as such. Now, during the day, what you can do is you can easily uh, uh, change a cart from a regular uh, cart to a handicap cart. It will do then uh, notifications based upon the smaller green size. Uh, you can also turn on and off very easily either individual holes or all of the uh, car path only areas at once. Now let's go through how the system alerts the staff in real time when something happens that they need to pay attention. The system has two real time ways that uh, it produces and notifies staff to things that they need to be paying attention to. Specifically here, uh, when carts enter areas they shouldn't be. So you see the red areas on the screen, you'll see dots moving around, uh, those are real-time locations. The first way that notifications come to the staff is directly in the interface. So you notice on the bottom right-hand corner, it says cart 41 is beeping. We can click on the notification section, we can go to beeper events, and we'll see at the very top that at 12.42 p.m., cart 41 was in uh, the seventh grade. I can click on that trace line functionality and it shows specifically the area that this cart entered. The second way that people will get on your staff get notifications is really through mobile uh, text notifications. So anyone on your staff can have a login to the system. They go in, they enter their uh, mobile phone number, they enter the days of the week and the times that they want to be alerted that when they're really working, not at home. Uh, and they could turn on any number of notifications, particularly here, anytime a cart is off path, uh, it's in a restricted area. If a cart goes off property, we also notify for that for stolen uh, carts. Um, and then uh, things like beeper events, as I showed before, end up in the notification section. The system allows for a variety of ways uh, to get reporting and analytics. Let's go through how that works in the system. A number of ways to get data out of the system. Everything from PDF reports that are sent uh, directly to your email on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis, to uh, manually run reports, uh, and then finally uh, download of data to Excel format so that you can further analyze it. Uh, let's go through this a little bit. So if you click on the reporting and analytics section, uh, essentially it opens up uh, the reporting here um, and I went into the geofence reporting. I run it for today, show the data. Uh, and this property is protecting the parking lot. They don't want carts cutting through the parking lot during a round. And you'll see that cart 48 uh, had uh, one, of, one you know, violation here. Um, and it was at uh, 953. The data is the data. Uh, the second report related to uh, protect the turf is really the beeper events. And that's a list here of all the carts uh, that had beeper events, the locations and areas that they, they had violations, and if there were assigned players to those carts, they would show up here as well. And then finally, again, if the assigned player uh, was on the golf cart, it would show the player profile, shows all the rounds that the player had, and then historically restricted area violations, uh, who they were playing with, what areas they violated, etc. And you can have very, very delicate conversations um, or, you know, stronger governance model to make sure this doesn't happen in the future. And finally, how does the system communicate directly with players who enter areas they shouldn't? 
we have two options here. One is the beeper that's included um, with the advanced package and gets embedded into the golf cart, has a loud, annoying, embarrassing beep uh, that alerts the player when they enter an area they shouldn't be and turns off when they, should, when they leave that particular area. And the second is if you do have a list of all players' mobile phones, either through a T-sheet integration or um, in some other system that you can download to a spreadsheet, we can upload that into the Fairway IQ system and send automatic text alerts directly to players' mobile phones. And finally, we work with hundreds of properties across North America. We solely focus on the North American market for the time being in order to provide the best customer experience for our customers. I encourage you to click on the link here on the page, go to our website, and see what our customers say about us. Thank you.